photographic processing is the chemical means by which photographic film and paper is treated after photographic exposure to produce a negative or positive image. Photographic processing transforms the latent image into a visible image, makes this permanent and renders it insensitive to light. All processes based upon the gelatin silver process are similar, regardless of the film or paper's manufacturer. Exceptional variations include instant films such as Polaroid and thermally developed films. Kodachrome required Kodak's proprietary K14 process. Kodachrome film production ceased in 2009, and K14 processing is no longer available as of December 30, 2010. Ilfotrome materials use the dye destruction process. Common processes. All film and paper is treated in a series of chemical baths which are closely monitored and maintained at a specific temperature and treatment time. Developer baths are most sensitive to deviations from the standard time and temperature of treatment. Other baths are less sensitive. Equals black and white negative processing equals. The film may be soaked in water to swell the gelatin layer, facilitating the action of the subsequent chemical treatments. The developer converts the latent image to macroscopic particles of metallic silver. A stop bath, a eurotypically a dilute solution of acetic acid or citric acid, halts the action of the developer. A rinse with clean water may be substituted. The fixer makes the image permanent and light resistant by dissolving remaining silver halide. A common fixer is hypo, specifically ammonium thiosulfate. Washing in clean water removes any remaining fixer. Residual fixer can corrode the silver image, leading to discoloration staining and fading. The washing time can be reduced and the fixer more completely removed if a hypo-clearing agent is used after the fixer. Film may be rinsed in a dilute solution of a non-ionic wetting agent to assist uniform drying, which eliminates drying marks caused by hard water. Film is then dried in a dust-free environment, cut and placed into protective sleeves. Once the film is processed, it is then referred to as a negative. The negative may now be printed. The negative is placed in an enlarger and projected onto a sheet of photographic paper. Many different techniques can be used during the enlargement process. Two examples of enlargement techniques are dodging and burning. Alternatively, the negative may be scanned for digital printing or web viewing after adjustment, retouching, and or manipulation. A Euro and modern automatic processing machines. The stop bath is replaced by mechanical squeegee or pinching rollers. These treatments remove much of the carried over alkaline developer, and the acid, when used, neutralizes the alkalinity to reduce the contamination of the fixing bath with the developer. Equals black and white reversal processing equals, this process has three additional stages, following the stop bath, the film is bleached to remove the developed negative image. A film then contains a latent positive image formed from unexposed and undeveloped silver halide salts. The film is fogged either chemically or by exposure to light. The remaining silver halide salts are developed in the second developer, converting them into a positive image. Finally, the film is fixed, washed, dried and cut. Equals color processing equals, chromogenic materials use dye carpolas to form color images. Modern color negative film is developed with the C41 process and color negative print materials with the RA4 process. These processes are very similar, with differences in the first chemical developer. The C41 and RA4 processes consist of the following steps the color developer develops the silver negative image, and byproducts activate the dye couplers to form the color dyes in each emulsion layer. A rehalogenizing bleach converts the developed silver image into silver halides. A fixer removes the silver salts. The film is washed, stabilized, dried and cut. In the RA4 process, the bleach and fix are combined. This is optional, and reduces the number of processing steps. Transparency films, except Kodachrome, are developed using the E6 process, which is the following stages. A black and white developer develops the silver in each image layer. Development is stopped with a rinse or a stop bath. The film is fogged in the reversal step. The fogged silver halides are developed in exhausted developing agents coupled with the dye couplers in each layer. The film is bleached, 
fixed, stabilized and dried as described above. In some old processes, the film emulsion was hardened during the process, typically before the bleach. Such a hardening bath often used aldehydes, such as formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde. In modern processing, these hardening steps are unnecessary because the film emulsion is sufficiently hardened to withstand the processing chemicals. Further processing Black and white emulsions both negative and positive, may be further processed. The image silver may be reacted with elements such as selenium or sulfur to increase image permanence and for aesthetic reasons. This process is known as toning. In selenium toning, the image silver is changed to silver selenide. In sepia toning, the image is converted to silver sulfide. These chemicals are more resistant to atmospheric oxidizing agents than silver. If color negative film is processed in conventional black and white developer, and fixed and then bleached with a bath containing hydrochloric acid and potassium dichromate solution, the resultant film, once exposed to light, can be redeveloped in color developer to produce an unusual pastel color effect. Processing apparatus Before processing, the film must be removed from the camera and from its cassette, spool or holder in a light-proof room or container. Equals small-scale processing equals. In amateur processing, the film is removed from the camera and wound onto a reel in complete darkness. The reel holds the film in a spiral shape, with space between each successive loop so the chemicals may flow freely across the film's surfaces. The reel is placed in a specially designed light-proof tank where it is retained until final washing is complete. Sheet films can be processed in trays, in hangers, or rotary processing drums. Each sheet can be developed individually for special requirements. Stand development, long development in dilute developer without agitation, is occasionally used. Equals commercial processing equals, in commercial processing, the film is removed automatically or by an operator handling the film in a light-proof bag from which it is fed into the processing machine. The processing machinery is generally run on a continuous basis with films spliced together in a continuous line. All the processing steps are carried out within a single processing machine with automatically controlled time, temperature and solution replenishment rate. The film or prints emerge washed and dry and ready to be cut by hand. Some modern machines also cut films and prints automatically, sometimes resulting in negatives cut across the middle of the frame where the space between frames is very thin or the frame edges indistinct, as in an image taken in low light. See also, list of photographic processes, fogging, darkroom, cross-processing. References External links, Kodak Processing Manuals, The Massive Dev Chart, Film Development Times, the Comprehensive Development Times Chart, Manufacturer's Film Development Times Database, Stand Development Site, Ilford Guide to Processing Black and White Film.